Okay, yesterday we um, built this clipboard and this piece of paper icon. And just a minute ago I built this gear icon and that's what I want to go into is kind of how to build this. So the way I used to do that uh, was really rather stupid. I would literally try to draw all of those little teeth. There's a better way though, and that's what we're going to talk about. So uh, I've got my artboard here. It's 16 by 16. Um, had a bunch of rulers, so I could see the pixels a little bit better. And I know maybe this is kind of silly to draw pixels like this, but I want to make sure it works at 16 pixels, like minimum. So uh, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come in and I am going to grab my star tool. I'm going to hold down shift and drag my star. I'm going to make my start 24 by 24 pixels. And uh, let's put that. Come on now. There we go. Come on. We want to center it on our board. So uh, let's get this circle that I just drew. We'll select all of those things and let's center them. Well, I want to center. There it goes. Now it's centered. Perfect. So let's zoom in. That's probably why, because it wasn't actually on the artboard. It's kind of funny how those kind of things always happen when you're recording. Uh, so I'm going to send the oval to the back, take the stroke off, and uh, let's make it a little bit darker. And we're going to come over here to the points, and let's bump it up a little bit. And seven, eight, eight looks good. And then we'll use forty percent on our radius, so that that looks good. So now I'm going to select the oval and the star together, and I'm going to mask it. So now we now we have it masked, and I'm going to turn the mask shape off, and we'll turn the rulers off so you can kind of see what we have here. You can see that we're starting to get those those little teeth for the cog. Inside of here, I am going to take and draw another oval, and I want it to be 12 by 12. 14 was a little too big the last time I tried it. It was a little too demanding or, or commanding or whatever. So there's, there's that. And then we kind of need the inside bit. I went 8 with 8. We'll align it to the middle. And let's make it white. If I zoom out, oops, a little too big it looks like. Maybe make it six. You have to go in, in even numbers or it won't work out correctly. So there we go. We have a cog. But it's still not usable. We have to make it usable. So let's come in. Let's select the outer oval and the star, and let's union them, and then let's subtract the center. And there we go. But we still have this mask. So if we take this, sorry, I moved my window. If we take this and we intersect, you'll see that now we just have this shape. I'm going to pull it out of that folder. Um, but we still have the mask. So let's go to, uh, you, you can't see this, but let's go to Layer, Paths, Flatten. And Layer, Paths, Flatten um, should get what I want. So I'm looking at this mask icon, and you can see that nothing has the mask icon. And so now we just have a cog shape. Zoom out. Let's bring it over here. Bam. They're like identical. They're twins. So what I've been doing is giving these a... Um, it still looks like... Here we go. Turn that off. Bam. Still looks like we, we had that mask. I've been giving these a 20, putting them in a 24 by 24 box. Um, and, and I like to do that. 
so that they have padding around them. They have spacing. So anyway, uh, that's how I make some cog icons in Sketch. And uh, yeah, I hope that was uh, hope that was useful to you.